When Coca-Cola asked us to bring back the polar bears for this year's Super Bowl, the agency knew it would be a challenge. Cute bears and football don't necessarily go together. Unless they're part of an unprecedented campaign. The first to fully integrate football, polar bears, and how viewers consume media in and around the biggest sporting event on Earth. It started with a digital idea that cast the polar bears as football fans. One rooting for the Patriots, one for the Giants. Then invited America to watch the bears watch the game live. As the game was played, we puppeted the polar bears, making them react to everything that happened in real time. Looking and has time, and then throws, and that is caught for a touchdown by Woodhead. Eli throwing into traffic on the sideline, they're going to rule the catch by Manningham. Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Dan Zoltan. The bears even reacted to the advertising. It's halftime America, and our second half's about to begin. All right. Pepsi for you. The entire campaign generated enormous chatter. Twitter and Facebook lit up with over 5,000 comments per minute. And despite not having thumbs, the polar bears responded to fans in real time. Fans who were watching the bears watch the game on over 9 million screens. And watching for an average of 28 minutes per screen. That's a really long commercial. That's also a lot of eyeballs. When the television aired, the spots were synced with our digital stream and also reacted to the game. Multiple versions were produced and aired based on how the game was going. After the Super Bowl, publications looking beyond traditional advertising ranked the campaign as a first, carving out a new space for digital, real-time advertising. Not bad for a webcam from the Arctic.